Alrighty guys, just wanted to add a quick postscript before we get into this uh, series. I actually took two SD cards and I filmed um, five hours of content. The second SD card, which I have right here, is corrupted. So three hours of content is gone. So you only probably see two or three episodes of what was a really awesome trip. We caught a lot of stuff that you'll never see. Uh, and I'm sorry, Kurt, your big golden perch never got filmed. Here's a photo of it here. Um, so it kind of sucked, but all in all, hope you guys do enjoy what parts of the trip were filmed. I think two or three episodes, maybe four, if we're really lucky, we'll see how we go. Let's, uh, get into it and, uh, not use this SD card ever again. G'day guys, Nat Shacky Shorten here, back for another episode of Vision's Diary. Nat sickly Shorten still, coming off the sickness though. And uh, this is a pretty important episode because it's the beginning of another mini-series. However, this is the first mini-series that will be Boys Night. <laughs> you! So we're going to get Blake. We've got a couple more boys, some surprise boys, coming with us. We're going to Arachula, maybe. It is school holidays and we forgot to book, so we're just going to camp anywhere we can. I have a shit ton of gear, as you can probably see. <coughs> I don't think he's ready. Look at that, Mr. Punctuality, not even ready. <laughs> to be fair, I said I'd be here at nine. All right, so we've driven a fair way. I do have a guest with me, I should mention. That guest, back again, Sparkless Blake. How are you going? Sparkless. Sparkless, because you've lost the spark you once had. You've lost that likability you had for a fleeting moment on this channel. How are you doing, Sparkless Blake? He can't even muster up a response better than good. <laughs> Shocking. Sparkless Blake is my least favorite guest. My favorite was Fire Blake. Which he was one? good. Fire Blake was good Blake, the actual fun Blake on the channel. <laughs> Holy shit, fuel is cheap out here. Look at that. Dollar 25. Good. Oh, I got pretty much full tank, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're pretty much here. The turnoff should be this next road here. Um, so pretty exciting. We're hoping to get a spot here. Blake, Sparkless Blake, do you think we're gonna get a spot here or are we gonna drive another hour to somewhere else? Yeah, I think we'll find a spot. You think we'll get a spot here? Just, yeah, just find Yeah, we do. He's going right down the end. There's a sign there that says three. Does that say three or is that just vines? I don't know. Anyway, we're here. Does it say two? We're trying to figure out whether we got the right spot. As I said, it is school holiday, so there are a few people about. I thought, oh, it's just a vine. I thought it said, thought it said three. Anyway, we're here. We're taking this spot. It's ours for the claiming. We're, fishing at night will be a bit strange because as uh, Val said, the lovely lady that works here, or I guess owns this place, um, said it's a bit shallow. I have fished here before and actually had some success. I caught a really big bass under that tree once. So, uh, we will be trying to replicate that success. We'll see how we go. Another funny story. As we rocked up, uh, I said to Val, oh, you know, it's time for two nights. There's a few of us here. And <laughs> she, she comes to the side of the car and she stares at Blake for like two minutes. And she's like, how many did you say were coming? And I was like, four of us. And then I, she like stares back at Blake and I'm like, yeah, I, I guess three of us and a Bigfoot. I just made a joke. And she just stares at him and she goes, that's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big boy. One big boy. Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? Who's a good big boy? <laughs> Dude. It's a birdemic. Look, there's kookaburras everywhere. They've come. I, they're actually looking at me real scary like. Scary bird. Spooky bird. Hello, cookies. God, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Those beaks are pretty scary, though. Ah, they're such pleasant looking animals, they really are. Gorgeous creatures. Didn't take very fucking long. Maybe 30th cast, and we're in a tree. We're not even close to like not being in the tree, too. That's the thing. You see where this is angling up to? Fucking not even close to not being in the tree. I missed that. I missed the water by a long, long way. And just as you thought as our luck couldn't get much worse, it starts to rain. 
I don't have much to say. I just feel like we're, I've been cursed or something. Descending. Look at them. They've all come to say good day. Jeez, there's a few of them. Some of them look pretty skinny. Are you meant to see cow's ribs? Maybe I'm just used to seeing really fat cows because I'm around Blake so much. First fish of the... We are rolling now. First fish of the trip. Took some time, but uh, as the sun is going down, finally happened. It's not a horrible fish either, whatever it is. It's okay. Oh, it looks like a bass. See? A bass. Yes, it is. Good start. It's a nice little Aussie bass. Good looking fish. They are fucking gorgeous Australian bass. Alright, there's a decent bass for us to start off with. Let's send it back and uh, try and get a couple more. It's a pretty, uh, pretty gorgeous fish, they really are. Very attractive animal. Alright, we just hooked a big fish. We just hooked something huge. Holy shit, this is a monster! What did we just hook? I've got my fingers crossed so hard right now. You know what I've got my fingers crossed for, eh? You know what I've got my fingers crossed for. This right here is a big fish. This is a, uh, there's a nice bend in this rod here. I'm worried about tandon. Perpetually worried about tandon. But I want this to be a golden perch so fucking badly. It's a pretty good fight. It's hard to say what it is. It's still a bit early. It's a very heavy fish. Oh shit, we should have brought that net with us. Might have played ourselves. Alright, we're coming this way. There's a tree over there I don't want him to get under. Oh, it's a heavy fish, whatever it is. Oh, I'm very excited. Even if this is a tandem, it's going to be a pretty big tandem, I would think. I actually think from the way it's fighting right now, it probably is going to be a tandem. <gasps> no, that's a golden perch! Yes! <laughs> oh, it's a big one too. A really big one. That is a solid fish. Get a load of that thing, holy fuck. Oh no, we should have brought that net. How is he hooked? Oh, he's not moving. I think he's, he's, it's tangled around under his gill. Yeah, there we go. It's come off now. Oh, that's a really nice golden perch. We're in the golden hour. Do you want to explain to the viewers what the golden hour is, Blake? It's just a bit after, a bit before sunset. Well explained. <laughs> that's what it is, literally what it is. It's the hour before sunset known as the golden hour because that's when the golden perch feed. So you get a C, you get a C plus. Uh, that's a pretty healthy looking fish. That is a big golden perch. The 40 to uh, bump of his head. Uh, cool. 54 centimeter yellow. What a fish. They yellow. Especially after the last trip when we didn't get one. I I was a bit sad. I, I was expecting them. That was the thing. I was catching them so frequently. But now, now that we get one, we've had to really work for it. Which just makes it all the more important. Yep. Fish on. Little one. What do we got there? Spangler? Yep. Spangler. Surely that's past the point of no return, surely. Like 10 minutes, got a bass, a yellow, burning the one stick. Yeah, I'm hoping that it dries out the other shit. Yeah, we got a bass, a yellow, spangler in like, what was it, like 10 minutes, if that, three casts, bang, bang, bang. And now it's just back to being dead. I guess it's, it's a very winter type of fishing, in a sense. I'm gonna go at this. Oh, what the fuck? Where's... Oh, we are on. It's all the way over there. Oh, I think I know what this one is, Blake. It's eating it over here and it's swum all the way over there. I'm guessing this one might be a Tandanus Tandanus. Yes! Oh, it's a... St yeah, it is! Yes! <laughs> are you excited, buddy? Oh, the stick is bigger than the fish. It's never ideal. Jeez, he must have been on for a while. He's some as ages away from where I actually set the bait. Alrighty guys, it's gonna do us for this episode. We are headed off now, back to camp. 
we'll be filming more so stay tuned for that I am just happy about that golden perch that's made my night night maybe even trip that was a stinker of a fish I'm very 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 excited hope we get some more hopefully the spot we're going to now is still fishable I'm not entirely sure we're gonna have to find out but we will find that out very very soon so stay tuned guys for some more action uh, Nat Sharky Shorten signing out and the song of the day Jeez, the song of the day. What, what song have I been listening to recently that I like a lot? I really haven't been listening to too much music. Oh, uh, song of the day is In Mornings, A Fire and Ocean. Enjoy the outro, guys. Catch you in the next one.